Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Just uh, going for another little walk near the boat. Found this lovely little little track in the woodlands. Look at all that. It's a public footpath apparently, so it's pretty cool. But it's pretty cool today, actually. <laughs> uh, it's been raining a little bit, but I'm waiting for the torrential downpour that the Met Office say we're going to get. <clears throat> um, well, I've been doing some thinking, and uh, I know my brain hurts a bit when I do those things, sort of things. Um, and decided to just more or less go back the way I came, rather than continue east. And into Birmingham, uh, it is starting to get much more crowded. Which, um, yeah, I don't really like crowds. <laughs> I've learned to like the isolation. Uh, and uh, yeah, and Birmingham is a coronavirus hotspot at the moment. It's all in lockdown, and I, mean, I can still go there and travel through it, I guess. But the other issue I've got to take into account is uh, my health, my physical health. Uh, most notably my knee and also my elbow because I suffer from tennis elbow as well. So I mean, I did four locks the other day and I, I stopped shortly after that and, and I was really I was almost in agony. My knee was that sore. So I've got to kind of stay off it as much as possible. So the canal I was on previously was a Staffordshire and Worcestershire canal so I might just end up cruising up and down that for the winter. Um, you know, there's, uh, there's good shopping and services in places like Kidderminster. There's also a gym in Kidderminster, which I thought about joining. It's very, very cheap. It's like 16 pounds a month. Um, and maybe do some rehab on my knee. And also I can have a shower there as well, whenever I like. So, you know. That's why, yeah, I told you my game plan could change. <laughs> Look at this. This is the River Stour. I only just discovered this little bridge. It's right next to the canal. Isn't that lovely? Look how clear the water is. It's beautiful. Look at that. So, yeah, I think that's my game plan over winter. The, the great thing about the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal is there's not that many locks. So, and they're all spaced out. If I can continue in my current journey, like ahead of me, there's like 17 locks in a row, uh, plus another seven or eight or something. Uh, and more going down to the Stratford Canal. And I just, locks are detrimental to my knee condition. They really are, because the amount of squatting and crouching and <clears throat> bending and twisting and stuff, you know, climbing up ladders and uh, yeah, all that sort of stuff. So I'm, I'm thinking I might just give myself a break, you know. Um, And it's a lovely stretch of canal to be on, to be fair. You know, uh, as much as I love exploring new canals and new parts of England, uh, my health, my physical health is much more important at the moment. So that's my, that's my thinking at the moment.
So I'm just going for a little walk now just to just to help my knee. You know, I don't want to be just sitting on my ass all the time and um you know, just sort of keep it moving a little bit, just gentle strolls, short strolls at the moment, that's all I want to do. And yeah, I was thinking about just having a holiday. Just, you know, not doing vlogs for a while, not doing anything. I'll probably still uh, write on my blog and publish photos and stuff like that, but. Yeah, I can always see it already. I'm only just going this short stroll and I can always feel my knee twitching a little bit. But I need to get out. You know, I, I suffer from cabin fever. Anyone who lives in a confined space like that will tell you <clears throat> how much, um, you know, it just gets to you after a while living. It's like being on an aeroplane. If any of you have been on an aeroplane, you know what it's like. Well, imagine doing that for days upon days on end. It's not very pleasant, really. So I do need to get out and about and do other things. So, but I'm thinking just short walks. If I do one lock a week or one lock every couple of weeks, that would probably suffice, you know? Without me over strenuating myself. Because that's my biggest concern is, you know, I don't want my knee to give way. I don't want to compound the problem by doing too much on it. So if I just keep it Keep my lifestyle fairly simple over the next few months. So I might do, yeah, well, I don't know if I, you know, I probably won't stop doing vlogs. Because, you know, there's, I can do walks like this, just short little walking vlogs. You know, as the temperature drops and the, the, uh, the landscape changes and everything becomes grey and... <laughs> Uh, leaves are lost everywhere and the whole landscape will change so as much as I, yeah as much as I'd love to get down to Stratford I just don't think it's and then you know I was planning on going to like the Coventry and Oxford but there's even more locks and then I go in the Grand Union and they're double width locks they're even bigger and heavier and I just <laughs> yeah yeah so I think I'll just cruise up and down the Staff of Worcestershire Canal this winter. It's a beautiful canal. So I can get supplies easily. You know, there's I can go to Starport again. It was a lovely Starport, really enjoyed Starport. And you know, it's uh, right on the river, I can, you know, and it's got there's a shower down there and like I said I can hang around Kidderminster and join the local gym. Uh, although to be fair I usually hate gyms but I kind of was thinking of some rehab on my knee would probably be a good thing just some light exercise to sort of um, help it you know maybe some light weights or something like that just to help it improve and give it plenty of rest Danger of death, do not climb. I've no intention of going down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh. Quite like this weather, actually. It's, uh, it's uh, cool, and, but it's not unpleasant. Ooh, 
windy. It's been a reasonably good year though. Spot all the crying crap. I've seen all sorts of stuff. If you haven't seen any of all of my stuff, it's not just my vlogs I do, I set up the website as well. So I can write about places I've been, share photos of places I've been. <coughs> uh, like, you know, there's so much history and stuff around England. And I've only scraped the surface, really, I mean, you know, I'll be doing this for the next 10, 20 years, I'd say. So there's real no hurry. I can, yeah, have a break from the vlogs or, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> we talk about plastic waste. Well, that's gonna be the next bit of waste we're gonna have to endure. Face masks, that'll be the next problem. If it isn't, isn't it already, you know. One step forward, three steps back, in my opinion. I'm waiting for the next boater who gets one of those wrapped around their prop. Where's this last rain we're supposed to be having? The office, you know? <laughs> I think it's coming later. And then we go having uh, torrential rain and severe gales on the weekend, apparently. That should be fun. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. So on the 1st of November, all of the uh, 24, 48 and 5 day moorings, i.e. Uh, short term moorings, uh, become two week moorings for the winter. So it means then I can hang around areas that have, you know, good services and what have you for longer. Uh, so that'll be a bonus, because there's a lot of places uh, along various canals that are only 24 hour. There's some that are even only a few hours, you know, so. Let's go up here. So you can walk along the field, that lovely meadow there. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Oh, I might do that another day. <sighs> My knee's starting to twitch a little bit, so I'm going to head back to the boat and have a lie down. Yeah. Anyway, I'd like to sing out and say a big hello to Doug Yelland. How you, Doug? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about the accident. Poor guy. Listen to this. He slipped on the roof of his narrowboat and then fell chest first onto their stern rail. Broke several, several ribs. So that's cut his cruising... Uh, 
Uh, his cruising season's short. So he's gone back to Canada. Doug's got an airboat over here. He comes over once a year to cruise the canals. And we met uh, last year on the Macclesfield Canal. And then again this year on the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal. So, good out Doug. Hope you repair soon, mate. Shame about the ski season. Damn. <sighs> but this is the things that can happen on you know, a boat, you know. Accidents can happen. Um, luckily there was another boat behind him or something that helped him get all through the locks and what have you. So, uh, you know, that's real good. So, hey Doug. Take care of yourself, mate. Hope you uh, get better soon, eh? All right, that'll do me for today. Yeah, I might walk over there sometime tomorrow amongst the horses. How nice would that be? Lovely. So, like I did yesterday, I'll uh, leave you with this lovely image. Stay safe, everyone.